Hello, my name is Paola Garcia, and today we're going to be talking about conic sections. Conic sections are four shapes that come from a cone, and it is sections means slicing a cone. So we're gonna take a cone today, and we're gonna slice it. Because we have four sections in total, I have created four different cones. What I'm using today is I'm using Play-Doh, so my cones aren't perfect, but that's okay because you can replicate this activity in your house or in your classroom. So using Play-Doh and just a piece of string, I'm going to cut these and slice these cones to create the four conic sections. To start, I am going to create our circle conic section. So when we're looking at a cone, a cone has a base of a circle. So to create our circle conic section, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut parallel. So I'm gonna slice my cone parallel to the base. So I'm gonna take my string, so here's my string, and I'm gonna cut this cone, um, make a cut with the string, just like that, that is parallel to the base. So when I do that, I get two circles. So I get my circle. So this is cutting it parallel to the base. And so I get my circle. So that's the first way you can create your first conic section. Next, I'm going to create an ellipse. So an ellipse has this kind of like oval shape. And so we can see that the ellipse has, it's kind of similar to a circle. So what I'm going to do is instead of cutting just parallel to the base, I'm going to cut at an angle. But when I cut at an angle, I'm going to make sure I don't cut through the base. So I want to cut from one side of the cone to the other side without cutting through the base. So I'm going to take my string and I'm going to cut at an angle and I just want to make sure I don't cut through the base. So here's my cone. I have cut at an angle. We can see the cut right here and I didn't go through the base. And when I take my cone apart, and it's a little bit hard to see with Play-Doh, but we can see that we've created an ellipse. So here we have an ellipse by cutting the cone at an angle. My next conic section is going to be a parabola. So a parabola looks like this. And as we can see, unlike the ellipse and the circle, a parabola actually has a flat bottom. So what that tells me is that I'm going to have to cut through the base. So I'm gonna do the same thing as an ellipse. I'm gonna cut at an angle, but this time I'm gonna make sure I cut through the base. So taking my same piece of string, I'm going to create a cut and I want it to go through the base. So I'm gonna cut all the way through the base of my cone. So when I do that here, I've created my cut and I get this nice parabola. So that is how we get a parabola. Our last conic section is a hyperbola. And so a hyperbola is different than a parabola. And also when we have a hyperbola, a hyperbola has two curves. So there's one at the bottom and then there would be another at the top. So when you're thinking about cutting a hyperbola, think about we have two cones that meet and then we can cut them just perpendicular to the base. So I'm going to make a cut perpendicular to the base and create my hyperbola. So taking my string, I'm going to cut perpendicular to the base. We're imagining that I have my two cones on top of each other and I just sliced both of those cones. 
and then I get my hyperbola. And so this is how you can demonstrate cutting conic sections with Play-Doh and string. You can use different materials. You don't just have to use string if you don't have that, but that's just the safest way to do it. We have also a wooden set of conic sections. So the way our wooden set looks is like this. So we want to imagine this is my cone. If I were to spin this triangle, it will create that cone shape. So to start off just the same way we did in our Play-Doh example, if I want to create that circle, I'm going to cut parallel to the base. So to create that circle, I'm going to make a cut that is parallel to the base. So this is how we can see my circle and my base is also a circle. So that's why we get that circle shape. Next, I want to get my ellipse. So just like in our Play-Doh, when we got, when we did our ellipse, we cut at an angle. So I'm going to cut at an angle but when we cut at that angle, we want to make sure we don't go through the base. So my ellipse does not touch my base of my cone. My next conic section that we did was our parabola. And this was cutting at an angle, but making sure that it went through our base. So I'm going to take my parabola. And here, when I'm cutting my cone, I hit the base because that is where my prop, my cut would be, where my section, that slice form idea. And then lastly, we have our hyperbola. And remember, when we have a hyperbola, we're imagining there's another cone up here. And we're just doing a vertical cut straight through the base. So a vertical cut straight to the base. And that gives me our hyperbola. So these are two ways that you can model conic sections. I hope this video helps and thank you for watching.